Hello everyone, my name is Jazz Frog, and in this video I'll be teaching you a guide about the prey traits. Now, one of the great things about the this game is that you can absorb certain enemies, and once you absorb them, you can actually get their traits. You get a decent amount of powerful that depends on whatever uh, <coughs> prey you got. Now, how do you do that? Simple as it is. If you saw an enemy, just absorb them. Remember that you can only absorb the red ones, red HP, and once you do, I cannot do this actually. This is just died. Uh, let's, see, let's see if I can get another one. One that doesn't have to take too much. No, the HP is still... wait, let me just... There you go, I can absorb this guy. And there you go. Once you absorb it, there will be a notification on your left that uh, pre-absorb. And once you do, uh, there's a certain amount of absorb that you need before you unlock these traits. And you can actually see the traits on these uh, settings. And just after the next on the, in the inventory, you can see all the traits that you have absorbed. And there's a decent amount of absorb you need to, like, for uh, there's uh, the smaller the enemy, the more uh, absorb you need. <coughs> But the bigger the ones, the bigger ones are only needs to be one absorption. And as you can see, every one, every prey traits have its own powerful. And in, in order for you to activate this, is you need to uh, kill a certain enemy, which is the hunter points, where the HP is, has a diamond, a diamond. Let's see. Let me go with the surrogate real quick. Once you see an enemy that has a, uh, that this uh, diamond thingy, where you spend the smart, like this one, you need the four diamonds. If you see an enemy with the uh, diamond logo, if once you kill it, you gain the hunter points. And once you have the hunter points, you can actually uh, spend it on the uh, traits. And once you unlock it, just hold group. Let's say I'll just think of something else. Let's see. I guess I can use this one. Uh, this one. No, this one. So once I hold it, as you can see, it will increase my power to 35% to 45%. But uh, in order for you to activate all the traits, you need to buy at least one of them. There are some that only needs one buying but there is also one that needs a uh, multiple ones <coughs> and sorry i have uh, a little bit sit right now and also not all enemies have the traits but you can actually see them on the on the inventory on the settings like mostly on the right side see this this one doesn't have a trait but these are actually our uh, bigger hunter ones and no, uh, there's, actually, uh, there's actually a normal enemy on this one, but mostly they are on hunter, prey, hunters, and this one, yeah, some of this one. But you can actually see the lore of it, which is pretty cool. It's like this one, this doesn't have a trait. It's not all enemies have a trait anyway. Uh, there are actually three kinds of prey. Uh, I think it's uh, normal prey uh, and the great prey. I'll be discussing the great prey on the other videos, but... Uh, in summary, if you're looking for what kind of prey that you're looking for, uh, uh, on the map, all, uh, this is not a 100% map because it's a new game plus. Uh, if it is on rock, if the enemy is a uh, rock uh, design, it's mostly on the uh, left side. While the insects, the flowers, it's mostly on the lower left and the lower right. And the servants, the, it is like a humanoid rob a rock. It's like a shape rock with the shape of humans, like this one. See, they 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 kind of carve themselves as a humanoids. Uh, I can actually see see them in the mostly on the right side of the map. But I I trust me on this. But I already know where the prey is located at. Uh, what more can I say? Remember insects, rock, and yeah, there it's, it's mostly insects, rocks, and flowers are the enemies on this game. So that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.